Hi YouTube, welcome to another review of mine. This time Thor, the Mighty Avenger, Fire Blast Destroyer. Here we got the packaging and it's the same throughout the line. Nothing changes except the name, of course the product and it says here it's features or the accessories that come with it in which here it show it says the feature is Mighty Fire Glow and a little try me window here and there's the banner up there that, sh that says Avengers Assemble which will come in 2012 as everybody knew by now at the back you can see up there mighty fire glow and there's a little read up here which says forged by Odin and infused with his power the Odin force this unstoppable weapon is locked deep within the palace in the all father's weapons vault created to defeat the most terrifying threats in all the nine realms no enemy has ever faced this guardian and won its sole master is the reigning king of Asgard, and so it waits for Odin's next command. Here we got the picture of the figure. The figure is number 11, says there, collect them all. Hammer Smash Thor, Blade Battle Marvel's Hogan, and Harpoon Blade Fandral. And other information at the bottom part of the packaging. Inside the packaging also comes this instructions on how to remove the bar I mean to replace the batteries at the back of the destroyer despite only appearing in the movie for like two or three times including the fight against Thor still um, this is a great character in the movie as well as a, as a figure so paint and sculpt here you can see the face is really well sculpted Transparent to the front and great has a graded effect a transparent color to the silver paint used all over the body and This figure is so stellar that you can't find two movie destroyer figures that is painted exactly alike so I picked up the most impressive one I saw so great so looking great here um, has those Spikes could have been more pointier, but maybe it's for safety for kids. I don't know, but I don't know Safety for the little for the little kids that would probably buy this figure and Just the detail here is so awesome um, All those lines aren't just painted there. It's also sculpted in there's like an indentation um, and there you got there is try me button will it which activates a feature well which I'll show you later and all throughout um, its paint kinda really reminds me of the um, Marvel Legends destroyer figure which is the variant of the Thor Buster Iron Man um, unfortunately it has no peggles on the bottom of its feet um, just everything here is really well painted and detailed. It really makes him stand out. For articulation, his head is on a ball joint, which means it go all the way around. It's going to go up and down, little side to side movement. Um, his arms can go all, all the way around, no in and out articulation because of the lighter feature, and which is a little disappointing. And no bicep swivel. Um, elbows do bend and rotate and the wrists rotate too. No upper body articulation also because of the line of feature. His legs can go in and out, angle it properly, it can go forward and back. It bends at two points at the knee and can go up and down a little and ro um, go side to side at the foot. This figure also has a line of feature which is shown early in the box and I'll show it to you. I'll just turn off the lights and press the light up button at its abdomen. 
So there you can see, it lights up at the chest and because the head is translucent, it goes, um, it bleeds up to its eyes, which I think, in my opinion, Hasbro, Hasbro did a great job on. Size comparison, here we have the Destroyer next to the Frost Giant, to Loki, and to Thor. And as you can see, he's taller than the Frost Giant, but like the Frost Giant, he's not really entirely in scale with the normal sized Thor movie figures. Um, despite that, this really still is an awesome figure. So here, he towers over these three movie figures. If you've been amazed by the power of the Destroyer armor in the movie, or the Destroyer armor in the comics, this will be a good add to your collection, or this would be a good buy um, if you're not really into collecting. Because for kids, it has a good light-up feature, with, which works for me, and although it lacks articulation, it still is a collector's figure, as well as a kid's figure. And it has good paint, good sculpt. Um, as I said, not enough articulation, but quite fair enough, because it makes up with the light of feature and that's it and before I say goodbye I would just like to thank the new viewers I have which are my cousins so thank you to them and thanks again for watching my review stay tuned for more reviews and videos with me, such as vids this is me saying goodbye